Patrick Henry by Reagan Goldsby Background Patrick was born May 29, 1739 and died June 6, 1799. He grew up as a poor farmer's son and became a poor store owner before going to law school. Patrick's father schooled him until the age of 15 and the Patrick went to work at the store. When he was 18 he married Sarah and fathered two children. He was a very persuasive speaker. He began his career in law after studying for only six weeks. Background of the Britain-American Relationship In the 1750s, the British king held absolute power over the 13 colonies. Tensions started to rise after the French and Indian War because the king was pushing taxes onto the colonies to help pay for the expenses and aftermath of the war. Britain heard of the growing resentment in the colonies and decided the Stamp Act would show their power over the people. Rebellion. Patrick rebelled against Britain's rule over America. He spoke passionately about the citizens' rights and ensuring America's freedom from Britain. Patrick became famous because of his speech opposing the Stamp Act. He was one of the first people to voice his opinion against Britain. Patrick's persuasive speaking inspired hundreds of people to join in on the fight. He claimed that the king had lost all rights to his subjects' obedience and that the king could not enforce taxation without representation. Revolutionary War Patrick was a leading factor in providing funds and troops for the war. People saw themselves in him which allowed him to persuade them into giving money for the war. During the war, Patrick was seen as a spark in the darkness. He traveled to military camps, encouraging the troops with his words. With Patrick's inspiration, America became a free country. Effects of the Revolutionary War Hundreds thousands gave up their lives. Innocents and soldiers were slaughtered. Not all Americans agreed on what kind of government America should have. Patrick Henry did not like the Constitution because it gave the government too much power over the people. Patrick agreed to the Constitution when the Bill of Rights was added. Works cited, 